Alright YouTube, watched a lot of videos on how to make different oil heaters and um, <clears throat> well, we're going to play with some designs here. So I'm going to probably end up making a maybe a two part video or more, I don't know. But um, we're going to start with uh, probably a 20 pound cylinder propane style. Um, I think it's the Ozert, I think is what they call it. I don't know, it's a drip oil anyways. But uh, what I want to find out is what's more efficient, what works better, especially in a smaller airspace. Um, I think some of the units the guys are building are maybe a little too big. I don't know though. Um, they claim they can't get them efficient under a quart an hour. Uh, I want to see if I can't get it more efficient than a, uh, a quart an hour um, and still burn cleanly. So there's the 20, 20 pound cylinder size, then the 30 pound cylinder size. And then I've also got a another tank here that's an old air compressor tank, solid steel, 30 gallon, which is quite a bit bigger yet. And I've seen both of these designs on YouTube. I haven't, I guess, seen the 30 pound cylinder size used, but um, so we're batting some ideas around here in the shop. And we started building one here. Here's the main burn chamber. Uh, it's just a rotor off a F-150 tool drive pickup in 1995. Um, as you can see, it's a cooled setup. There you can see the light shining through. So that's how the air is going to get in all the way around. And then I just made a oil feed for my drip system here. Real simple, galvanized quarter inch pipe. Fittings, couple of them. And a little chunk of pipe there. I just drilled a hole, ground this down a little bit, slid it in, welded it in. This is uh, just six inch that I got from Steel Town. And then I cut the center out, see if you can see this or not. Um, not real well, but it's not cut out real pretty, but you get the idea, it'll work. So what I did here was, see if I can flip this thing over. Punched it through, and then I used a piece of angle iron to uh, carry my drip out a little further. So you can see there's the hole and then uh, the angle iron carries this out into the center and it'll drip into the center of the pan. And I got a uh, couple of cast iron fry pans I found. One thing I found is a lot of the new ones have a uh, arch in the handle. So the arch you won't get a seal on your rotor or on your flat plate steel or whatever you use. This is an older one where the handle's perfectly flat and it covers our circumference nicely for to complete our burn chamber. So as you can see, it's real simple. It drips in. This is going to be affixed to a uh, propane cylinder there. Um, I'm just going to remove the valve. I'm actually bleeding the tank out. No, it's not in here. It's not this tank. I've got an old crappy one that needs to be removed from service. So I'm just going to remove the valve out, remove the handhelds off. I'll cut a hole here, enlarge it out for the six inch. It'll probably be like a five and a half inch hole, something like that. And that'll allow me to weld that directly to the underside here right now, which this is upside down once it's complete. I'm uh, making some holds here. I've got to weld and do some heating and bending to hold my pot in place. So I figured I'd stop now before I get too far into this and um, just kind of show you where I'm at, what I'm doing. And then um, we're going to uh, go, uh, like I said, another video here. Once this one's up and running, we may cut the heater apart and then build another style and see how efficient we can get it. Obviously we can see that they're very clean on YouTube, but I'd like to see how small of one a guy can make and see how efficient in oil a guy can make it. So I think this may be too big. I think I need to go smaller. I think I need a smaller pan like this, which this one is a couple inches smaller than that one. And um, maybe even smaller yet, smaller brake rotor, lighter duty, maybe something off of a car um, instead of a pickup truck. This is probably a little too big, but um, I think the smaller the burn chamber and the smaller the pan the easier it's going to be to heat and get it optimum temperature to flash boil the oil and get it to a vapor and cooking or burning so 
<clears throat> I think we're going to have to reduce the size on everything to make it more efficient and get under that one quarter, one liter per hour time frame that everybody on YouTube says is where they're at. So I'll uh, kind of end this one here and we'll pick up later. But um, that's kind of where we're at, what we got going on. And uh, we'll be back shortly. See you later, YouTube.